Hello and welcome to Silent Creativa. I need a little bit more time at the start of this video, so though I didn't plant this ahead, I have to show you my mini me because I don't want to show you my unshaved, sweaty self on camera. So, we have to deal with this. First thing, I tried my hands on some animations that will be in this video later, because it's too hard to make a doll and I had to do anything. So, I tried it and I hope you like it. And the second thing is that this time I made a doll for someone special and uh, it is a gift, or it was a gift, you know what I mean. And yeah, that's more or less it. So let's start. I went with a doll I hadn't used before and it is a quite cheap doll from Wish, which cost me around 5 euros. And I was quite impressed with her because I have seen dolls that are more expensive with a lot of less articulation. One of the strangest things was the rooting on her head, which was, yeah, nearly not there. But anyway, the hairs will come off, so it's okay. Time for the first animation. Ta da! Though it was clear from the start that she will be a gift to someone, I thought to keep her a little bit more simple. It's not as if I would do anything else on this channel than simple dolls, but don't talk about it. Maybe it will get a little bit more extravagant in the next videos. I hope. But for this time, a simple makeup again. And yeah, I had a tough time thinking about a theme for the doll at first. And then everything came together quite fast. And though the person who will get this doll or at this point already had the doll or have the doll. Though it was clear from the start that she will be a gift to someone, I thought to keep her a little bit more simple. It's not as if I would do anything else on this channel than simple dolls, but don't talk about it. Maybe it will get a little bit more extravagant in the next videos. I hope. But for this time, a simple makeup again. And yeah, I had a, 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 a tough time thinking about a theme for the doll at first, but then it came together quite fast. One of my closer friends celebrates her birthday nearly every year now as a Vintage English tea time party thing. And it's great. I really, really enjoy it and I love every of her birthdays because they go out like crazy and make things that are more or less traditional tea time treats and oh, it's great. But uh, anyway. Though these, this doll should go to someone who lives in England, I thought, yeah, it would be quite nice to make a doll that resembles a little bit, yeah, this theme of vintage tea time party. And more or less as if the one who will get this doll 
would have invited her to something like a, a this too. And in my opinion, there are just a few things that are more British than a tea time and big hats and flower patterned dresses. We should really talk about stereotypical thinking one day. But I went with this theme anyway because I thought it would fit quite nice. And yeah, with this her makeup was nearly done and I can't resist but I had to give her some freckles. And at this point I already had the dress finished and it was laying around next to me and so I thought her hair color should match the dress a little bit so that everything will come together nicely in the end. And so I uh, brushed out some acrylic yarn and in front of straightening it I took out some chalk pastels, colored the hair with it and as soon as you go over it with the straightening iron um, the plastic, the acrylic plastic melts a little bit and the color will be sealed in the hair so it won't come off as soon as you touch her. And because she will wear a hat I decided to go with a simple hairdo as well and yeah I just thought to um, give her a side ponytail and a little bit something in the front of her hair, so some shenanigans. Um, I don't really know what this is called. I think you call them pinned curls, but I'm not really sure. So as soon as you see what I did there, please let me know how it is called in English. Thank you. Thanks to Akameru Kawaii, I found out that gluing hair directly onto the head and not make yarn wefts is a very nice technique. And though she won't have a part, I just slapped the hair onto her head and especially on the top of the head as much as I could get on there. And yeah, with the last stickiness of the glue, I just slapped on more hair and more hair. And it went very well. You don't have any bold spots. Surprise! Yeah, and then I just combed everything out and cut it a little bit to size and gave her hair hairstyle. And then that was finished. And though I don't have to say anything else about the hair, and this video is a part of the surprise for the one who get this doll, I thought it would be nice to wish her happy birthday again through this video. And yeah, I will sing happy birthday. So you are warned, switch off the volume if you don't want to be annoyed by my voice. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And now let's just pretend that this never happened and let's go on with the doll. I had some small flowers, dried flowers laying around and thought it would be quite cute if she has some flowers in her hair and then I uh, glued on the lashes and yeah, let's say the glue was everywhere. My arch, arch enemy, arc enemy, I don't know, lashes. This time I used uh, soft brown ones instead of black because yeah, it's ma it makes everything a little bit less harsh, I think. And yeah, while I was working with the dried flowers, I made something for her. And now we have the next thing I don't know the English word for. I 
googled it and Google tells me that a lot of flowers bound together and are presented to someone as a gift are called a bunch of flowers in English. Would you please tell me, is that right? Because in Germany we have a different word for it, and that is Blumenstrauß, and it sounds weird for me. So please let me know in the comments below. And now it is finally time to sew her into her dress. As soon as the dress was finished, I thought, oh gosh, this will be extremely kitschy. But I was quite happy with her when she was finished. I really like her. And there was a, a different thing. As soon as I sewed her into the dress, I thought, this looks strangely familiar. And yeah, then uh, it came to me. The dress has a striking similarity to a dress Delightful's mother made for one of her dolls. So this was not intentional. It was by accident that I made a dress that looks a lot like the one Delightful's mother made. So I just thought I need to address it because normally when I take a, an idea of someone else, I address it. And this time it was not planned and, but I'm okay with it because the dress from Delightful Stall is stunning and that I made something a little bit similar to this is very okay for me. And then it was time for some last details like the light reflections in her eyes and using a little bit of matte varnish to hide the all the glue around her eyes that made her look a little bit like she was crying. And then she was finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments below do you prefer this kind of videos with a little bit more stuff happening or should I stay with my old videos where I just showed you the footage of the doll. Have a nice time, like and subscribe if you like, and we will see us next time. Bye!